A common concern of the religious and favorite accusation of the irreligious is the claim in the Bible that God is jealous. This doesn't occur just once or twice by mistake, it's pervasive throughout the Bible. Almost as if, in Richard Dawkins' words, God is jealous and proud of it and petty. If God really is as good and perfect as Christians claim, why would he be jealous? And why would he seem to tout it so frequently as if it were a benefit rather than an obvious character flaw? This is famously the reason that caused Oprah Winfrey to lose her faith in God, and very likely many others. I happen to be um, sitting in church in my late 20s, and uh, this great uh, minister was preaching about how great God was, and how omniscient and omnipresent, and God is everything. And then he said, and the Lord thy God is a jealous God. And I was, you know, caught up in the rapture of that moment until he said jealous. And something struck me. God is jealous of me. And something about that didn't, didn't feel right in my spirit. She, like Dawkins, couldn't bring herself to believe in a God that would have such a petty human emotion. What is the Christian supposed to do in light of this? They can't say that God isn't jealous. The evidence is overwhelming. It'd be helpful to first define what we're talking about. What even is jealousy? Just what you'd expect, someone who is hostile, intolerant, or suspicious towards others. There we go, jealousy is always a bad thing. Wait a second. Like most other words, it has a number of different meanings, and the context bears out which of the definitions is intended. The short answer is that Dawkins and Oprah simply misunderstand the meaning of the word contextually. Jealousy certainly can be used in a petty sense. Today it's almost always used with the negative connotation of unfounded, paranoid, controlling suspicion, or resentment at someone else's good fortune, essentially taking the place of the word envy. But if we define words written down in an ancient context with modern definitions, we run the risk of misunderstanding the original intent. Jealousy obviously can be bad, but is it always a bad thing? According to the definition of the word, no. Jealousy as an emotion is no better or worse than anger or happiness. Why someone is angry or happy or jealous is what matters. Being happy at a birthday party or wedding is probably good. Being happy at a funeral, probably not so good. Being angry when someone gives you a gift, not good. Being angry if they smack you or kick you in the shins, that's probably okay. If you're jealous when a coworker gets a promotion and you don't, that's probably not good. That job wasn't yours to begin with. You have no grounds to feel that way. You're just being envious and petty. If your coworker tries to take your wallet though, not wanting that to happen isn't petty or envious, it's appropriate. The wallet belongs to you, and if you guard it, that's not only reasonable, but that's expected. If a wife finds her husband cheating on her, should she be uneasy that the vow of love and fidelity from her husband was being broken? If she wasn't vigilant in maintaining or guarding the relationship with her husband, we'd accuse her of being cold and unloving, or at the very least, culpable. This analogy of marriage and jealousy is an apt one because throughout the Bible this is exactly how God's relationship with people is described, as like a loving marriage, a husband devoted to his bride, not merely as a boss who commands his underlings with a never-ending list of what to do and what not to do, but like someone who loves and cherishes people. The Bible describes unfaithfulness just like we do in marriage, as adultery. God is also described as a parent who is protective of and desperately wants what is best for his children and for them to make good choices on their own, but so often they, we, don't. He's not jealous of us like Oprah assumed, as if there was anything we had that he needed. He's jealous for us. Like a loving spouse or parent, God cares deeply about us and wants what's best for us, and to protect us from those who seek to do us harm. So is jealousy sometimes a good thing? When the situation is appropriate, yes, absolutely. If God has a relationship with people and supposedly cares for them, but he didn't react with anger when they were being abused, or happiness when they were doing well, or jealousy when they betrayed their relational promises, we'd accuse him of being unfeeling, unloving, morally deficient. Someone who doesn't want to protect the relationship with those whom they purport to love isn't noble, Someone incapable of feeling jealousy when it was appropriate isn't morally superior. That just means they don't care.